Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some basic navigation techniques in Flash. So I've started up a new Flash file here, and where you might do this is if you wanted to make a, let's, let's go and call this like a little mini portfolio of some Flash work. Let's see, so I've got a mini, I've got a blank Flash file and ActionScript 3 set up here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a few layers. Now when I know I'm going to do something like this, I always like the, I'll make another layer, I set the top layer to be some actions and you're going to notice some action icons containing action script on a few particular frames up here. On the layer right below that I'll go ahead and call this the home and then I'll have a layer for, let's see, how about square, circle, and star. And basically what I want to have is I want to have a basic navigation menu on the home page that will lead the user to these other Pages. You notice I'm using the word page, but really you could uh, swap out the word page with the word frame. So I've got my home frame, which I'll have on frame one, and I want the person to be able to jump instantly over to the square frame, which I'll probably end up making frame 10, circle 20, star 30. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of setup. On my home page frame, I'm going to do that as frame one on my home layer. I'll just go ahead and use my text tool here and I'll type in um, square, do another one, circle, and star. I'll use my free transform tool to make each of these a little bit bigger. There we go, so there's my menu. It's on frame one of my home layer. Now for my other layers, by the way, I could put these on frames two, three, and four, but just to kind of space them out a little bit, I'll take my square, I'm gonna press F6, and I'll put that on frame 10. My circle, I'll put on frame 20, and my star, I'll put on frame 30. I'll jump over to frame 10, which is where my square is gonna be. I'll use my uh, rectangle tool, let's draw a square or rectangle. I'll go to frame 20, where's, which is where my circle is going to go. Draw a circle there. And I'll go to frame 30, where my star is going to go. And I'll choose a poly star tool. And I think I've already got my options. Yep. Oh, let's make sure I'm doing a star. And then I'll just pop a star right on there. So on frame 1, I've got my navigation menu. Frame 10, I've got a rectangle. Frame 20, I've got a circle, and frame 30, I've got a star. Excellent. So now I want to start to put in, I'm going to use the word behaviors, even though they're technically um, scripts. If you're using ActionScript 2 or earlier, there's a really nice option here. It's under uh, Window and Behaviors, and you can do what I'm going to do using behaviors. But uh, I'm not going to use that technique, so I'll go ahead and close that group. But instead, what I will use is I'll head over to Window, and I'm going to bring in the code snippets. And you don't have to know any scripting. You don't have to know code in order to do what we're going to do here because Flash has made it pretty easy for us with this menu. Go and give myself a little bit of room here. I'm going to go to frame one, which is my home frame, use my selection tool, and make sure I'm just active on one particular item here, the square. And I'm going to head over to my choices under code snippets on the right. And I'm going to look at my timeline navigation. And I've got several choices here. What I want the user to experience when they click on the word square is I want them to be automatically taken to frame 10 and stay there. So I want to go to a frame and stop. Click to go to frame and stop. That's what I want. So I'll go ahead and double click this. It's going to want to convert it into a movie clip symbol. Perfectly fine. I'll click OK. In fact, I'll say don't show again. There we go. Click and OK. It's going to do its thing and it's going to bring up this relatively tricky looking scripting here, but I don't want you to worry too much about it. This big chunk up here is simply a comment and if you've done a JavaScript or even some CSS, you'll notice this is how you comment out multiple lines. And the only thing we really need to worry about is down in here, and even then we don't have to worry about too much. The directions even tell us, replace the number 5 in the code below with the frame number you would like the playhead to stop at, to go to, and that kind of stuff. Well, I know that my square is on frame 10, so I'm going to change that 5 to a 10. 
and that's all I need. And by the way, this is my action script dialog box. I can close this. It'll automatically reopen if I need it. I could also go to my window and I can I can open up my actions again. It's keystroke F9 and there it is again if I need it. So I'll just kind of move this off screen to uh, my other monitor. But I now have an action on frame one. You notice on my actions layer up here, it's telling me, hey, I've got a little action set for this particular frame. But I want to do something similar for these other words. I'll go to circle, double click on go to frame and stop. Oops, there we go. My actions window just got updated a little bit. It's putting another one. This is going to go to frame. 20. Bring that off screen. Then I'll head over to the word star, double click on click to go to frame and stop. My actions window just updated again and this one is going to be frame 30. Excellent. Bring that off to the side or close it, doesn't really matter. So I've already got a little bit going on. So let's check this out. You're going to see I think a little bit of weirdness but it's easily solved. I'm going to go ahead and press Control enter to preview this, and here's what's happening. Now this isn't broken. This is perfectly normal behavior for a flash animation. A flash animation wants to cycle through all of the frames in sequence. I really wanted it to stay fixed at frame one once it started because I wanted to wait for a user to click, but I didn't tell it to. So let me show you this. I'll go to my action there frame, to my action on frame one, and I can do this right at the very top. Here's a really simple one you can type in. STOP set of parentheses semicolon. Basically that's going to stop my movie at whatever frame I'm writing this. And since I'm writing it at frame one, it's going to stop at frame one. So just typing in that little change, watch this. Now I can go back to my flash, press control enter to preview, and it's going to stay stopped right at this frame one. And it's waiting for me to act. Um, I could click on the word circle and it's going to jump to frame 20 which contains my circle. There we go. And if let me rerun it, I closed it, I'm going to rerun it again. If I click on the word star, it's going to jump to frame 30. There's my star. I need some other navigation going back. So I'll go to frame 10 and I'll just click on the word, I'll click text and up here I'll type in the word home. And let me just size that a little bit bigger. And while I'm here, I'll go ahead and cut, or I'll copy it. I'll go to frame 20, edit, paste in place. There's the word home. I'll go to frame 30. I'm clicking to deselect. I'm deselecting. And then I'll go to edit, paste in place. So the word home is there. And that'll take care of that. On frame 10, click on the word home. And I'm going to use my go to frame and stop again. Technically, I could do go to frame and play. Uh, since I have that stop action on frame one, that stop function up there, either of these would work. Go to frame and play would go to frame one and then it would try to play, but it couldn't because of that stop there. But it's all right. We'll just do a go to frame and stop. And on my actions window, I'm going to change the five to a one. Bring it off screen. Go to frame 20. Click just on the word home. Go to frame and stop. I'm going to replace the 5 with the 1, minimize, close, or get it off screen, go to frame 30, click on the word home, go to frame and stop, and last but not least, I'm going to change the 5 to a 1, bring that off screen. Now I've got some pretty good navigation. Notice there's little actions at frames 10, 20, and 30 now also. So if I were to preview this, I can click on star, go to my star frame, home, Go to my circle frame, home, go to my square frame, home. So that's some very basic navigation in Flash using code snippets. Have fun.